I think the companies that are going to fall down are those who don't have an established cadre of engineers who understand the domain specifics of their company, yeah. who instead try and use AI as a general purpose tool to build their technology. I'm still not sold on that yet. I don't think generative AI is quite there. I, you still need that strong human element, that human in the loop sort of feedback cycle. But I do think we're going to see an explosion of developer productivity over the next three to five years. I also think we're going to get to a capability at some point where maybe the unification of data and the modeling of data not goes away, but can be supplemented by intelligent generative AI systems that can, in, you know, infer the example I used earlier. One system says customer name, another system says customer first name, customer last name. Are we going to get to a position where AI can help make that inference without us needing to explicitly write those rules within our data modeling? I think there's a chance for that. I think it's, uh, it's further out than we think. It definitely is. But I do think we'll converge on that at some point. Hopefully I'm not in the industry anymore, yeah. or I've, I've moved on to my next thing within the industry, whatever yeah. that looks like. Because inference requires implicit understanding. Correct. And that typically comes from longitudinally studied behaviors, thoughts, emotions of human beings that deal with many different inputs all at once that can say, this is how you infer from this. Especially when novel things come in, but artificial intelligence can't do that because they haven't historically accessed implicit data sets because they don't, one, have a good method to do it, and two, they don't want to pay for it. So I think it's going to be further out than we think, but it's going to be a whole world wrestling around that 20% efficiency you talked about from their bolt-on solutions. But really, it'll create efficiency, but not understanding. That's a great way to put it. And let's not forget, at the end of the day, these are people making requests of artificial intelligence systems. And if I've learned anything over 17, almost 18 years of doing this with running two companies, it's that typically what stakeholders ask for is very different than what they actually want mm -hmm. because of those unknown unknowns, right? So that domain, that longitudinal understanding that you referred to, if that's not present within the human element of our business, it can't possibly exist within the AI element of our business. 